before we get into it, you need to know what particle accelerators are. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, at CERN is basically a huge 17-mile ring of super-strong magnets. It's the biggest, most powerful particle smasher ever built. It's so powerful, it can almost recreate the universe's first moments. Could this machine, built to uncover the universe's secrets, hold the key to even bigger discoveries? CERN, which started back in 1954, is a top research institution involving 23 countries and countless scientists working together. It's a hub for brilliant minds to collaborate and innovate. The LHC is CERN's superstar project, but it's only one part of a massive system of particle accelerators and experiments. Think of it like a racetrack for subatomic particles. The LHC speeds up protons to nearly the speed of light and crashes them into each other, creating energy levels similar to those at the moment of the Big Bang. These collisions generate temperatures far hotter than the sun's core, all while magnets guide the protons and cooling systems keep the machine colder than space. Collisions occur at four points on the ring where particle detectors, ATLAS, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB, are stationed, each designed to observe different aspects of particle physics. These detectors act like high-powered cameras, capturing the split-second aftermath of the crashes. Researchers study the remnants to uncover elusive particles like the Higgs boson, also known as the God particle, and others that reveal the structure of the universe. By examining the tiniest components of reality, we can learn about the cosmos as a whole. Yet, every discovery opens a door to more questions and more tests. The LHC isn't just a tool. It's a symbol of human curiosity and scientific progress, a testament to our desire to understand the fundamental forces shaping reality. However, as we push the boundaries of knowledge, we must also confront the ethical implications of our work. What could go wrong when probing the unknown? Could we unleash forces we can't control? At CERN, where pushing scientific limits is a daily affair, some developments have raised eyebrows, even among the researchers themselves. Brian Cox, a physicist formerly associated with CERN, sparked global discussion when he mentioned that the LHC aims to recreate a mini Big Bang, a smaller version of the event that started everything. He noted that such experiments could lead to monumental discoveries, including insights into the Higgs boson and dark matter, the mysterious substance that makes up most of the universe. While the idea of creating the building blocks of the universe sounds thrilling, it's also incredibly risky. This isn't just theory. The LHC has already created conditions that mirror those of the universe's birth. That kind of power demands responsibility. History has shown us the dangers of particle accelerators. In 1978, Russian physicist Anatoly Bigorsky suffered a severe accident when a beam of protons struck his head. The beam entered one side and exited the other, yet he remained conscious, even seeking help on his own. Though he lost hearing in one ear and suffered facial paralysis, the incident proved how intense and hazardous these machines can be. The risks of a device like the LHC aren't just theoretical. There's a real possibility of unexpected reactions, altering the basic fabric of the universe. One particularly unnerving theory suggests the LHC could produce a mini black hole. Black holes are regions of space with such strong gravity that nothing, not even light, can escape. The idea that the LHC could create even a tiny one is alarming. Could it grow out of control and consume the Earth? Certain scientists say any black hole's form would be unstable and vanish quickly, but the mere possibility has sparked awe fear, and fascination. To understand how the LHC could form a black hole, you need to grasp a bit of quantum theory. When protons collide at nearly light speed, they generate so much energy that they warp space and time. It's like dropping something heavy on a trampoline. It bends, and if it's heavy enough, it could form a hole. On the quantum level, this is plausible. Some theories suggest hidden extra dimensions could exist. If they're real, the LHC might access them potentially forming a gravitational spot, a mini black hole. Even renowned physicist Stephen Hawking was intrigued by these possibilities. He warned that the Higgs boson could become unstable at high energy levels, possibly triggering a vacuum decay that could destroy not just Earth, but the entire universe. Sir Martin Rees, a leading cosmologist, expressed similar concerns in his book on the future, outlining a doomsday scenario where a failed LHC experiment 
might cause such vacuum instability to spread across space-time and annihilate everything. Though he admitted this is highly unlikely, he stressed the importance of taking these risks seriously because the stakes are astronomical. CERN researchers have taken these concerns to heart. They conduct safety assessments, run simulations, and follow rigorous protocols to ensure everything is under control. Brian Cox reassured the public that the energy levels used by the LHC are naturally occurring on Earth and that the odds of forming a stable black hole are minuscule. Even if one did form, scientists believe it would be so small and unstable that it would evaporate almost instantly via Hawking radiation, a burst of energy, then gone. Yet some fear that the LHC could open a gateway to another universe. While most scientists reject this, the idea has captured public imagination and fear. What if we accidentally unleash something we can't comprehend? The fear of opening a cosmic Pandora's box has been sensationalized in the media, feeding anxiety. But where did this fear come from, and what does it mean for science? The concept of extra dimensions isn't new. String theory, a framework in theoretical physics, proposes that additional dimensions beyond the familiar three of space and one of time could exist. These dimensions may be hidden, only becoming accessible under extreme conditions. Think of the LHC as a potential key to these hidden realms. By smashing protons together at unprecedented energies, it could create ripples that reveal the existence of other dimensions. If these dimensions are real, the LHC might offer us a glimpse. However, it's important to remember that Despite its incredible power, there's no solid evidence that the LHC will open a portal to another universe, or anything dangerous. The intrigue of the unknown and the bizarre nature of quantum physics keep these ideas alive in public discourse. So, should we fear the LHC and its capabilities? It's easy to let media hype lead to panic, but the reality is that CERN scientists are acutely aware of the risks. They've implemented strict safety measures and constantly monitor their experiments. The potential scientific rewards, like understanding the universe at a deeper level, discovering new particles, or probing dark matter, are extraordinary. This is more than just a technological flex. It's a profound journey to the heart of existence. Like every major leap in science, the path is lined with risk, but also wonder. We must proceed with curiosity, caution, and deep respect for the power we wield. The Large Hadron Collider stands at the cutting edge of human knowledge, where theoretical physics becomes reality. Its ability to answer questions about the universe, like where mass comes from and what dark matter is, is unmatched. Even with safety plans and checks, the LHC still brings up a sense of mystery and fear. The size of the machine and the energy it generates are amazing. Each new experiment leads to new frontiers in science. Most scientists are confident the LHC is safe, but there are still unknowns. What if strange, unforeseen problems arise that change how we understand physics? The LHC is testing the limits of what we know and how much we can control nature. As particle crashes recreate conditions not seen since the Big Bang, the significance of these tests raises questions about interfering with the basic building blocks of the universe. Still, what the LHC has done for particle physics is hugely important. It discovered the Higgs boson, helped complete the standard model, and opened doors to potential advances that could shape our future. Even with risks, the pursuit of knowledge is one of the boldest things humanity does. The path of science isn't always safe, and the LHC is no exception. Its experiments explore the edge of physics, where even our most trusted theories start to bend. For years, physicists have struggled to unify the basic forces of nature. Gravity, electromagnetism, the weak nuclear force, and the strong nuclear force. These forces form the foundation of matter itself. The LHC stands as a testament to human intelligence and curiosity, pushing us forward in ways once unimaginable. It's more than just a scientific tool. It's a symbol of cooperation, bringing brilliant minds from around the world together in a shared mission to unlock the secrets of the universe. The LHC seeks to answer questions that have echoed for generations. What fundamental forces govern our reality? What are the true components of matter? How did the universe evolve to its current state? The Collider has already achieved milestones, such as confirming the existence of the Higgs boson in 2012, but it's still pushing the boundaries of knowledge. 
Every proton collision holds the potential to uncover something new, from exotic particles to never-before-seen phenomena. Yet, with great power comes great responsibility. Scientists are acutely aware of both the known and unknown risks involved in probing the frontiers of physics. The idea of manipulating the forces that shape the universe, or inadvertently creating phenomena like many black holes, is enough to spark both awe and concern. Physicists such as Stephen Hawking have warned about possible catastrophic outcomes, including vacuum instability, a theoretical scenario where the universe's fundamental structure could unravel. While the odds of such events are exceedingly low, their mere possibility fuels public anxiety and fascination. For some, the LHC represents a human attempt to dominate nature, a bid to control the cosmic forces that rule our reality. For others, it's a pure instrument of discovery, a way to grasp the true nature of existence. With every scientific advance come ethical dilemmas and unforeseen risks. When we acquire the capability to reveal the universe's deepest secrets, we must also ask if we're prepared for what those revelations might mean. Beyond scientific risks and thrilling possibilities, the LHC raises profound philosophical questions. Its massive scale and complexity challenge not just our understanding of the universe, but also our ways of knowing. Scientific discovery has always expanded the limits of human knowledge, but the LHC operates in a realm where observation is abstract and data must be interpreted through complex mathematics. This makes us question, when evidence is buried in quantum uncertainty, how do we distinguish what's real from what's theoretical? The LHC also exemplifies the global collaborative nature of modern science. No single country could build or fund such a machine alone. Thousands of researchers, engineers, technicians, and students from all over the world contribute to its mission. This spirit of international cooperation is rare and invaluable, especially in an age of political tension. In many ways, the LHC is not just a scientific experiment. It's a symbol of unity in the pursuit of knowledge. The discoveries made at the LHC could impact more than just physics. Breakthroughs in understanding subatomic particles can influence chemistry, nanotechnology, material science, and medicine. Foundational knowledge from particle collisions could lead to advances in imaging technology, faster computing, or even revolutionary energy sources. Historically, basic scientific research has sparked unexpected innovations, like how early studies in quantum mechanics eventually led to the development of microchips and smartphones. The LHC also generates an astonishing volume of data, millions of particle collisions per second, with information collected by advanced detectors. To process this data, CERN has developed some of the world's most powerful computing systems and algorithms. This demand for speed and volume led to innovations like the creation of the World Wide Web in the 1990s. Today, CERN's computing infrastructure connects supercomputers around the globe and also contributes to progress in artificial intelligence and machine learning. Culturally, the LHC has become a phenomenon. It explores concepts like dark matter, antimatter, extra dimensions, and the origins of the universe, topics that fascinate the public. It frequently appears in books, movies, TV shows, and online discussions. This media exposure helps spread scientific enthusiasm, but also risks misinformation and fear-mongering. Even so, the fact that people now talk about quarks and bosons in everyday conversations shows the LHC's broad impact beyond academia. Ethical considerations continue to evolve. Some believe there should be a global framework for overseeing high-energy physics experiments, much like international treaties regulate nuclear weapons or genetic engineering. The worry isn't just about potential catastrophe. It's also about ensuring responsible stewardship of powerful scientific knowledge. If we discover new states of matter or methods for manipulating the vacuum of space, who decides how to use that knowledge? The LHC also plays a major role in education. It supports numerous Ph.D. programs, internships, and fellowships, helping train the next generation of scientists and engineers. These individuals bring their skills into other fields, fueling innovation in computing, communication, electronics, and finance through advanced modeling techniques. What makes the LHC truly special is its humility in confronting the unknown. Unlike areas of science with clear hypotheses and predictable outcomes, particle physics embraces uncertainty. Many LHC discoveries take years to confirm and remain under debate. 
This patient, meticulous approach is a valuable lesson in a world increasingly obsessed with instant results. Finally, the LHC challenges our understanding not only the universe's scale, but also its purpose. Are we trying to decode the universe simply because we can? Or is there a deeper belief that these answers hold meaning for us as humans? Are we guided by curiosity alone, or by a hope that science might one day answer the big questions about existence, purpose, and even consciousness? Whether or not the LHC ultimately unlocks the mysteries of dark matter or parallel dimensions, its greatest achievement may lie in what it symbolizes, humanity's relentless quest to explore, question, and understand. It reminds us that the universe's biggest secrets can begin with its smallest particles, and that in peering into the cosmos, we also look into ourselves.